Thankfully, Dean and Haas returned from the greenhouse with a few buckets, setting them nearby. Dean then shuffled in between Tyson and Roswell, creating a barrier between the two. Whether he did it intentionally, I have no clue. Bucket's gone. Gotten. That's the word he said. <laughs> and we're not to throw anything out. Apparently, we can use the insides for compost. Waste not, want not. And there's going to be a lot of it based on the size of this thing. Orlando climbed down, placing the top of the pumpkin on the sheets now laid out surrounding it. Okay, well, we're ready to start scooping this stuff out. I think I'm going to go get a s spoon or something to make this easier. Why do we need a spoon? I'm just thinking about the, the scale that they've described this pumpkin where you need to la uh, get on a, a chair to be able to get over the top of it. You're gonna need a shovel. <laughs> just imagining like a fucking soup spoon is like trying to like slowly scoop out this like fucking James the Giant peach ass pumpkin. Are you planning on using your hands? That's gonna get all in your fur if you do that. I was considering it. I want to be clear, using your hands to pull out the guts of a pumpkin is a completely normal and okay thing to do. Yeah. Fur might be annoying or something to get soaked out, but yes. yeah, like you just, just gotta get in there. You just gotta get in there, be hey. dexterous, be efficient. Yeah, just, you just scoop just it out and wash your done. hands. Yep. He was gone for all of a few moments before returning with a large metal spoon handing it over to me. Oops. I got somewhere. There we go. Here, Dave. Uh, you can have first shift. <laughs> shift? That's a, a lot of pumpkin. I don't think you're going to get all of that out yourself anytime soon. What? Just, just, just take it out. I... <laughs> I don't care if this thing's the size of a fucking beach ball. It's... You just scoop it out. <laughs> yeah. We're not... We're not, like, Shawshanking through the wall behind a poster or something. Like... I don't know. I can make a fair effort at it. Watch. I climbed back onto the chair and poised the spoon, ready to start scooping. Hoss, bucket me. I'm not sure if I should be so gung-ho about enabling this, but... What? Enable Carving this a... butt, am I right? We're, we enable this butt. You know. But we're, we're carving a pumpkin! Sure, if you tire yourself out, just make sure you tag someone else in. As opposed to just leaving it there? <laughs> yeah, I don't... There's like a strain... There's like a amount of like logistical dialogue that always is like... It's kind of babying, like there's like a level of like, we need to re-explain basic logistics of how a scene would play out, or how people would interact, or how this activity would happen, like, often in too much detail, where you would think everyone in the room has an unspoken agreement about what how this works and what's going to happen. But then again, like, unspoken, uh, unspoken assumptions are how you lead to people realizing that Sal eats an entire head of lettuce and, and calls it a salad, so maybe that's safe. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe this is realistic characterization from people that behave this way, is you need to like restate really obvious things constantly because otherwise stuff slips through. <laughs> well, uh, how about I get a start on lunch? A bit early, isn't it? Maybe, but I can go get some ideas on what to make us, at least. Oh, Dean's taking a turn at cooking? Maybe we should all take turns. I might need help with that. What sort of help? You can't be that bad, can you? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uh, put me down for breakfast, maybe. Unless we're fine with just fried chicken. Fried, unseasoned chicken. 
<laughs> I'm down for chicken. So when I fry a chicken, I just... What I do is I get a rotisserie chicken. And I swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> everything is just a single object you swallow. <laughs> That's how I eat Sal's, everything. Sal's recipe for fried chicken is to go buy fried chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Sal's recipe for fried chicken is step one, find a farm. Step two, devour chicken. <laughs> it's easy. He's, he's just a velociraptor. He was lying this whole time. <laughs> I started things off by scooping and then scooping some more. <laughs> so then I started firing. <laughs> uh, by the time I filled the first bucket, I swapped out with Orlando to give my arm a rest. We continued like this, taking turns until it was time for lunch, with Dean making everyone sandwiches. Around this time, I realized everything on my end tasted and smelled like pumpkin with how much of it was on me. Ew, what? Ew. How is it all over you? What? Did it wrong somehow? Do to go back into it again? Looking to the others, most of them had a few bits of goop here and there, but nowhere near the amount I'd been covered with. Even with my hoodie being orange, I could tell where the pumpkin had started to seep into the fabric. Yeah. <laughs> why, why were you just it's like you just like laid down pumpkin goop and then did, made the snow angel in it like what the <laughs> why is it just all over your body how did that happen that's not good we don't like that at all no that's upsetting after lunch Dean went out to the greenhouse to see if there was a chainsaw we could use to speed things along <laughs> wait <laughs> We're getting confident fast. Also, just... Guys, 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 I'm begging you. From a lifetime of experience of half paying attention while other people carve pumpkins. Outside activity. <laughs> Why the fuck did you do this in the dining room on the table? You have so mm. much outdoor space. Why are you doing this indoors? And now they're considering a chainsaw and I'm just like, what are you doing? You're not gonna You're not gonna get the deposit back on this one. While well, Lando settled in for an electric carving knife that started breaking down into more manageable manageable pieces. They have an electric carving knife. I guess they're just carving up the slop is what they mean? They're just breaking up the slop inside more. So, Orlando. Hmm? What is it? He turned to the electric carving knife off, uh, setting it aside to look at me proper. How often are we going to be eating pumpkin moving forward? Every meal? Uh, not every meal, but... It'd be good to just try? I'll do what I can to make it some more sweet things. Otherwise, roast pumpkin isn't hard to do. He's volunteering a lot of pumpkin plants for somebody that hates pumpkin, apparently. Oh, can we make pumpkin bread? Pumpkin bread? Really? I pumpkin bread's great. Guess I could make pumpkin bread. Been forever since I had that last. I've never had pumpkin bread. It's really good. But is it really bread? I don't know what yes. defines what defines <laughs> bread. I guess. Why are people so weird? Uh, not at that point. It's. More like a cake, but I suppose it depends on the recipe, too. Cake is bread! What? <laughs> what do they think cake is? I'm not prepared to, lit to litigate the semantics of bread. I do not I, I do not know what defines bread, technically. <laughs> uh, but cake rises, so... Eh? Eh? Just like the Dark Knight. No! No, See, that was it's ironic. It's funny. It's funny. I'm funny. Haha, because this is ironically was where the franchise plummeted. <laughs> <laughs> make a loaf for me and Dave, yeah? Or you could make it yourself. What? What? Orlando. <laughs> what's with the sass? <laughs> What's, what's going on, Orlando? You've been, like, so gung-ho about cooking. You're like, no, I love it so much. Get out of my way. I need to cook every day. 
the moment someone's like, oh yeah, we should we should have this. Make it your fucking self, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so messed up. Oh my god. Tyson's really feeling like part of the crew lately. <laughs> Can't blame me for trying. What? Wait, why just for us, Ty? Can't we share? Why share when there's that much pumpkin? Last time we had pumpkin bread, you ate most of the loaf anyway. Oh, right. I laughed, nervous, scratching my head, but finding the amount of pumpkin on my hands, resulting in me just being it's just being smeared into my fur. <laughs> mm. uh, if there was stuff on my hands, I'd be very aware of it. <laughs> I would not be accidentally putting it places. It'd be the only thing I'm thinking about and how much I need to get it off of my hands. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Dave. I looked to where Orlando was pointing, noticing the metal that was half sticking out of my pocket. It must have shifted with all that movement I'd been doing. Is that the metal I found? I looked down, shoving the metal back into my the pouch of my hoodie. Oh, no. Uh, this is just one I found earlier in the greenhouse. Really? Well, damn. Guess that me being in the lead was short-lived, huh? It was several days of us forgetting about the competition entirely. I believe you can still win, Orlando. Maybe just don't let Roswell hear you claiming all the credit. But Roswell didn't do anything. Orlando and Roswell are partners, and, Orlando, and Roswell gave up immediately and just went back outside and let Orlando do it. Orlando <laughs> genuinely deserves all the credit. Tyson shrugged, poking me gently in the chest. You need a bath. I do not. I like it this way. I, it's like, it's my conditioner. This is how I get my hair this way. Horrifying pumpkin slop. <laughs> I looked down to where Ty held contact with me, seeing just how much pumpkin had ended up on me. Grimacing, I shot Tyson a quick look before chuckling. Okay, maybe I do. You're gonna need help getting that spot on your back. You always miss it. I don't think there's pumpkin on my back under my clothes. <laughs> just remember to use the brush this time, yeah? Right, I'm fairly certain I packed it. They are they have intimate knowledge of each other's bathing habits, apparently. This is lore. If you didn't, just go get mine in my room. I'm gonna make coffee. There wasn't much room for me to thank Tyson for his offer, with him slipping into the kitchen pretty soon after his declaration. I looked down at my hoodie, groaning. I'm gonna need to wash this too, huh? Yeah. What? Honestly, I'm surprised you got that messy. You really weren't being mindful of what you were doing. No, but he was enthusiastic at least. <laughs> you know. I'm right here, guys. Jeez. That's like the best. I mean, that, that's like uh, that's like first time best possible outcome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you got so messy, but you know, you're enthusiastic, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving everyone back in the dining room, I headed upstairs. It didn't take long to get clean. Sure, the water was running orange for a good while as the pumpkin came out of my fur, but. I got clean. Clean enough, anyway. What? Well, you walking it back and land there? Was but you, you <laughs> ha haphazardly cleaned. Once I was adequately dressed in fresh clothes, I wandered back downstairs lazily. Maybe I just grown tired after an eventful day so far. What? We have different standards for <laughs> eventful. <laughs> You, you partially helped gutting one pumpkin, and that's your entire day so far. I'm back. Several deaths. <laughs> like, we're just gonna come back to several deaths. 
This is, this is how most endings in 999 happen. You walk into a room and you're like, no! <laughs> I, almost ran into in, I almost ran into Orlando and Sal. The air tense in the room. What happened? I looked at the others in the room, most of them equally confused. The others in a state of perpetual wincing? Hmm. That's a very momentary expression. Yeah. Orlando just... Uh, uh. Dean sidled up beside me, keeping his voice low while I watched Orlando and Sal awkwardly stare at one another. He didn't continue his thought, though. Orlando stammering, picking up the slack. What, did he hit on him? So... Um... What? Mm -hmm. What did you mean by that? The cogs were turning in Sal's head, his mouth going to form words but stopping short each time for the next minute. Sal? Do you... Do you like me back in that way? It's like watching Garrus and Tally hit it off. <laughs> <laughs> the moment Orlando clarified, I gulped. And after a quick stalk of the room, everyone had their eyes glued to Sal, awaiting his reply. I... I like you like a brother, too. Yes. There was silence. Everyone else seemed to understand what Orlando was asking except Sal, who looked at the dragon curiously. Orlando's voice broke, audibly desperate. No, I, I mean, more than that. Like, if you wanted, wanted to maybe. Orlando, I'm sorry, but. Orlando began to shake, expression shifting between a saddened frown and an awkward smile as he tried to play it off. But it wasn't working. He was hurt, upset, and it wasn't helping that Sal's reply ended at that point. Everyone's fucking throwing themselves at Sal. So it's interesting because the, the game definitely made us believe that he liked Orlando. And now it's just clear that Sal isn't interested in anyone, it seems. <laughs> no. Everyone I get close to, I devour. Like in you Beastars. You thirsty motherfuckers. <laughs> Orlando ran out of the room, skirting around me as I stood in the doorway in a daze. Even upset, he was too polite to just shove me out of the way. Damn it. Sal cradled his head in his hands, my heart sinking for him as he seemed to be mentally beating himself up for what just happened. Excuse me. Suddenly he stood, marching with a purpose towards the kitchen swinging the door open and shutting it behind himself, potentially more p forceful than he intended. Roswell excused himself past me, rushing upstairs, hoping to check in on Orlando. Resolved that he'd be okay talking to Roswell, I hurried along after Sal to give him some s support. When I entered the kitchen, Sal was pacing back and forth, still clutching his head. He looked somewhat shell-shocked, frantic, mumbling to himself at a loss. Sal? Are you... okay? Dave, I heard Orlando. I did a double take, not expecting that to be the first thing to come out of his mouth. Not that it was wrong, but unexpected all the same that he'd start there. Why, it's obviously the thing he's... Uh, fixated on I maybe rounding the bench to stand next to him the pair of us leaned back on the counter while Sal continued to gather his thoughts I didn't know I didn't realize he liked me in that way he just says something at us in caps lock all of a sudden like oh new password go back in time and warn <laughs> Sal that Orlando likes him, and then we start using the time, the the uh, the memory time travel 
vault for increasingly petty reasons. <laughs> we just, yeah, we're getting sick of everyone. And we're we're going to get make all of the, the hookups work and get everyone to get just play Mad Man the rest of the game. It's like, oh, I stubbed my toe. Time to use the vault. You didn't? But how? You seem to give me an impression you knew who liked me. How could you not? It's different. Harder to notice for various reasons. I tilted my head at him, waiting, wanting him to continue. As I waited in silence, he shot me a look, realizing I was waiting for him to elaborate. The first of which being fear. I'm undeserving of such affection, Dave. Before I could go to retort, he continued. I owe it to myself to love myself more before committing to another. But that's not the main reason. What is? Oh, I'll tell you later. Mostly, I'm upset with him, I think. Wait, what? Again, another thing I wasn't expecting, blindsiding me. But truthfully, Sal elaborated this time. Thankfully, Sal elaborated this time. Yeah, this is the thing I'm surprised by. The first thing I'm like, of course this is what he's talking about. It's literally the whole point of the scene that just happened. Oh, okay. This this does make more sense. For a second, I thought it was yeah. saying that I thought he was saying like I upset him, but in weird in like visual novel English and not in <laughs> the correct form. So I get it now. All right. He should have known to bring this sort of thing up in private. Yep, like we talked about it alone. Oh. Is that what you'd normally do? I just figured with Dean it was, uh, so Dave did this in private, but then didn't register that that's how you would do it generally. It's just a coincidence that Dave did it in private. He'd, okay, Dave. Dean's a special case. Yeah, like, you would think that Dave would understand that Dean is just like, this, this aggressively horny, outgoing person that's kind of abrasive in how they behave, and that's not the normal way to behave. Like, damn. Yeah. I expect better from you, at least. Promise me that no matter who you go with, that you'll tell them in private to give them the space to process it. Also, for your protection, in case it goes sour. That doesn't really... I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that logic really works out in that context, Sal, but <laughs> like, okay. It's just generally really rough to ask somebody out in front of a live audience. Like, for I don't, sure. I don't know what your goal is behaving that way. I, I agree. I agree with that point. My, my, my point was the idea of like, only ask out emotionally vulnerable people who could lash out at you in private. For your protection. It's like, well, I mean, I don't know about that one, but. Just asking out people in front of an audience. It's like a much, it's like a much smaller version of the idea of proposing in front of a, a group of people when it's not a pre-agreed, like, performance of a thing. It's like, yeah, the, now there's like this horrible social pressure and like, you're the asshole if you say no and so on. And that's not how consent works, everybody. Okay. I felt like I wasn't helping Sal so much, but he was talking it out at least. Thanks for checking up on me, Dave. Oh, um. I love Orlando, but only as a younger brother. He's special to me. And it pains me that I upset him. 
Sal began to grumble, and I placed a hand on his arm, wondering if I was being comfortable or annoying the longer I lingered. His face shifted suddenly to one of surprise, looking down at my point of contact before pulling his gaze away. I should go talk with him. You think that'd help? I feel like I need to explain myself. Talking about it is probably something we both need. He turned to me suddenly, grabbing me quickly in the second hug for the day. Much like the first time, I wasn't expecting it, but the feeling was pleasant. Something about just how big he was made me feel comforted. Not that it was really anything I was familiar with Sal doing for anyone else, or that he'd done it for me. There was also the implication that I was feeling guilty for feeling comforted when I was supposed to be providing that for him. Feel better. I... No, wait, I should be asking you that question. I'll be alright. Really, though, thank you for checking up on me. This is very recognizable. The part where the person that is going through something feels like they have to, like, perform for other people, and suddenly their feelings are his problem and so on, despite it being a thing that happened to him. And when everyone starts checking on you after a bad thing happens. But this isn't the first time this has, uh, or that happened. Now I need to go check in on Orlando. I'll be back. Sal wandered out of the kitchen into the hall, skipping the dining room, likely to avoid the others. Meanwhile, I wandered back into the dining room after making a fresh pot of coffee. We just learned that you can leave this kitchen without going into the dining room. <laughs> That'll be important for someone's alibi later. The Sal and Orland with Sal the with Sal and Orlando upstairs, presumably talking things over. That left Haas, myself, Dean, Roswell, and Tyson awkwardly sitting around in the aftermath. You know, that could have gone worse, all things considered. We've been sitting in rel in relative silence with our drinks, not wanting to break the silence with our thoughts. Sal's a good guy, so. I like to think that he handled that as best as he could have, right? Meaning? Well, I guess as far as how it went for me, I just considered myself lucky. Granted, I asked Dave out on a date as opposed to professing uh, any sort of deep emotion. Oh? No shit, you were lucky. Surprised that it worked. Part of me thinks you're more likely to get coffee splashed in your face for being a creep. I cradled my coffee defensively, shooting Tyson a look and getting a smirk in kind. Well, okay, here's a question. What would you have done differently if you were Orlando? I've... Uh... I scratched my head, wanting to figure out how best to ask. Deciding to just go for it. I wouldn't mind knowing what works best for when I get around to it. All three of them seemed to think on it. And while they did, I looked to Haas, who seemed to be taking this opportunity to take a nap at the other end of the table. I mean, Tyson. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Only reasonable person here. Yeah, exactly. Ty? Huh? What would you have done different? I'm curious about this, too. What? We're assuming that Tyson's capable in the first place? Well, Roswell, thank you for your input. Love it when you speak. <laughs> hey, lay off Ty. Hole. I don't have an answer for this. The most reasonable answer. <laughs> <laughs> Always. 
Tyson pulls his gaze away from mine and went back to drinking his coffee, eyes focused away from everyone else in the discussion. All right, Dean. How about you, Dean? What do you think? I had to do the confession? That's, uh, difficult. Only really been close to that a couple of times and always hard. Well, sure, but what would you have done different? The main thing would, would be privacy. It doesn't always work, but there's an air of romance about doing it in, pri in a private, intimate setting. That's for confessing your love for someone, at least. That's a bit... I don't know. Further on from where Orlando was, though. Ah, uh, right. Well, I guess the same rule applies. Approach privately. Let them know as, as honestly as you can, and then let them make the first move. What if they don't want to make the first move? <laughs> or just can't. Uh, then I guess you're not compatible? I don't want to force anyone into anything. I'd much rather show them where I stand and let them decide. If they decide to go to the next step, then that's when I'll try leading. At least I think so. This punk ass, we can't skip him. Roswell, what about you? Me? Oh geez, that's a loaded question. I usually just reload my save until I get the right dialogue choice for the, the sex scenes to trigger. <laughs> oh, uh... Honestly, I don't even read it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm much more of a fan of wanting people to take the first step and tell me. Admire from afar and hope something happens. God, you're so conceited. God, <laughs> I hate this character so much. That's leaving a lot up to chance. How would they even know? Oh, I... Right. I guess do little things? Shower them with affection in little ways and hope for the best. I gave Dave a coffee a week ago. Is it working? Knew someone like that once. Wish they'd been more upfront about it sooner, because it was a bit late when they finally told me directly. Didn't go well? It, uh, did not. After I'd gone through each of them, I sat back, still confused as to what the correct thing to do was. Expressing your feelings for someone was hard enough. Now hearing there was multiple ways to do it made for an even scarier prospect. You did not hear multiple ways. One person didn't answer you, and the other person said that they don't express their feelings for people. And then the other person was said, you, you, you express your feelings for someone, and then you, you know, see what they do or say. Which is <laughs> just... Like human interaction, like. <laughs> I want to know something, something clarified for the table. What's that? Tyson's lack of response. What? <laughs> the... What? What do you mean? I want it clarified. If he'd do the same thing Orlando did, or if it's something else. I'm working on a theory. A game oh. theory. What is what are you Why theorizing? are you putting him on blast? Yeah. Fuck off. That's none of your business. Bully. Oh right. Silly me. It was Dave who asked you and you blew him off anyway. Dude, like actually fuck you, Roswell. He did the polite thing and was like, I'm not gonna make a scene here. The thing that Sal literally just said not to do. I don't have the answers. And dude, Roswell's like, no, actually you should. Fuck can we, Roswell. Can we fire fuck Roswell into the sun? <laughs> he is actually the worst character. If you're like Roswell, don't. Don't be. <laughs> Change as a person and reflect on how awful you are. <laughs> Which honestly just makes my theory all the stronger. You're just incapable, and that's all right. Whoa. <laughs> You're literally uh, the person who doesn't know how to initiate a relationship, Roswell. 
Uh, uh, what is this? Fun fact. <laughs> Roswell is the kind of person that Stephanie would murder on site. <laughs> Putting that there. How do I, I delete wish was Roswell to from the game's this. files? Oh, what a profoundly unlikable character. And like, <laughs> not in a like, oh, he's so well written. I don't like him kind of way. No, he's just a dick. Like, he's just a <laughs> dickhole. And the way the game presents him as like kind of your friend is just so dumb. Fuck this guy. I want the murder Roswell immediately route. Also, he only has four fingers and that freaks me out. Coming for you, Roswell. I mean, you don't need to be so bigoted about it, Keith. You can't do anything about that. I didn't that's even go the, that far. That's the giveaway. That's how you know he's he's just in a costume. He's, he's impersonating one of our <sighs> friends. He's the alien that's trying to figure out human behavior by trapping us in this house for a month. For real, this guy's an actual shithead. I hate Roswell. Incapable. I'm plenty able to do shit like that if I wanted. Oh yes, I'm sure it's possible for you to have nice feelings towards someone else given your behavior over this. What are you talking about? You're, You're antagonizing the one being a him. Dick. What are you? He's been <laughs> nothing but reasonable the whole time. What the fuck? I cannot believe this is how these characters are written. Can't help but notice that it's it's Haas that's comforting Orlando and not Roswell. Completely. His partner. <laughs> My eyes darted between the three of them, wondering if we were, if we were going to have a repeat of the argument from the other day. Just this time, not about dogs. And also this time, everyone this time Roswell gets knocked out, and nobody feels bad about it. <laughs> it is impressive that Roswell behaves this way, and Dean was the person that got knocked out, and everyone was like, yeah, I'll teach him a lesson. He deserved that. I'm gonna Tyson. Be, if he's I'm gonna be honest and say, at the start of the game, the way that Tyson was set up, I was like, oh no, we shouldn't go for the bad boy. He's gonna be like a really boring character. And <laughs> I'm just so wrong about that, because immediately he is just clearly the most reasonable person other than Sal for the most part around. Yeah. He's absolutely buck wild. He's at this point just the regular dude that didn't get along with people at some unspecified period in the past. But also we I'm don't know, we still don't know if he didn't get along with these people specifically or just has was known for that. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest. If these were the people I had choices to be around, I would be addicted to them, too, because they're all all universally awful, <laughs> but especially Roswell. I would go out of my way to make Roswell feel unincluded so he doesn't show up at my events because <laughs> fuck this dude. He's awful and I don't want him around me. Most hated visual novel character in history. Here we go. <laughs> He's gonna, up there for you're gonna me. See that, oh you're going to see that yellow star in your nightmares. <laughs> God. Tyson, if he's wrong, just say something instead of growling for a change. What? No. Call, call Roswell out of being a dick. This is just weird fucked up thing. Like, this is just a shitty way to treat somebody. You don't have to prove him wrong. Debate him in the market of free uh, ideas. Ruin uh, him with logic and reason. I watched as Tyson sized up everyone present, myself included. Was he looking for an out? Someone to help him, or just weighing up if it was worth it? It seemed as though Tyson had just enough that had had enough, though, almost violently getting up from his chair and storming out of the dining room. That... I expected that to go differently somehow. I'm not really sure how, man. <laughs> you really, you're really fucking up your social interactions here. I don't know why I'm the only one that seems to have remembered how horrible he was to us. Can we? Can you tell us? <laughs> can you please tell us? Yeah, We're just express it. We still I, don't know I, why people don't like Tyson. I really wish the game would just come out about it and not be coy because it would make scenes like this better and not nonsensical like they are right now. They play so coy with it that I, until that, until this exact line, I've been completely unsure whether or not Tyson ever bullied a single person in this house. Or if Especially he was just, because it's been set up multiple times that these people are from different grades, most of them seemingly old. 
older than Tyson. Yeah. Who don't really know each other. And I feel like at least one person talked about Tyson's reputation or something, which further implies that they haven't actually interacted with him before. They just heard bad things about him. Yeah. Which is fine. People just hear bad things about people. And, like, it doesn't. it's fine to hear about what someone's been up to. But, like, the grudginess is confusing because it's never been established that any of them have been, like, fucked around. Like, like I don't know. Like, when you're dealing with, like, uh, when you're dealing with, like, say, Leo's route, for example. Like, you, you get a flashback of him and Clint as kids, like, beating on each other and shit. You're like, oh, okay, yeah. I have context for the, back, like, the, the history of these people's interactions. But them never referencing any bad event before just makes it confusing that this is happening. And, like, yeah. Roswell didn't seem to care when Tyson was yeah. revealed to be the special guest. So... Roswell, of all people, seemed especially detached and uncaring about that reveal, and other people seemed more alarmed by that, from what I remember. So the fact that t that Roswell is now spearheading the anti-Tyson League is like, it just kind of started today, it seems like, seven yeah. days into the trip, and it's there, still, we, so still, we still don't know what their history is. There are two things about this that I find particularly frustrating, and it's that, at the start, if people really didn't like Tyson that much... Roswell could have just said no. Yeah. Like Tyson could have showed up and the, they weren't on the trip. And because Tyson's family organized this, Tyson could literally just say, sorry, Dave, this is not OK. He is not coming. And like, yeah, that's confrontation. And that's like a, a, a quote unquote, like shitty conflictory way to start your vacation. But it's not like he's avoiding conflict now. He's just being a dick. Yeah, and he's been he, a dick from the start. So they're just gonna start fighting he, with him for the whole trip. Then it seems like this could have been intercepted. Yeah, and the other thing is like, and this is just like a character writing thing, but like, is it possible to hold a grudge against your childhood bullies for years and years and years? Yeah, but usually in the context of like high schoolers, and because again, these characters, despite being various ages and just graduating high school, are like most furry visual novel protagonists, written like they're 14. Uh, these characters haven't had many interactions with him, and they've been the one antagonizing him the whole time. In school, when you are a kid, a year feels like a long time. So someone might have been mean to you for a year, but in three years, four years since you last saw this person, uh, they could be a completely different person. There were plenty of people when I was growing up that I hated and just could not stand, and they were bullies to me, and I, I just, every time I saw them, I was like, God, I wish you, like, died in a plane crash, like, get out of my life, I hate you, who then I met in high school who, like, ended up having to come on a trip with me, and then were just friends because people just mellow out and are normal. And that is clearly what has been going on with Tyson. Sure, he's a little bit abrasive, but I would also be abrasive if every single person around me was an unrelenting asshole without prompting over something that I did like years ago to maybe some of them. And like, yeah, this is not saying like, don't don't forgive bullies for just like forgive your bullies for no reason. But the thing is, is that. Tyson has been nothing but accommodating. He hasn't even made a scene, really, about people being an asshole to him consistently this entire time. No, he is like, the chillest he's, he's person basically in this been a group. saint for how much he puts up with and then just, like, walks away. Yeah, he's just like, whatever, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna enjoy my vacation, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna pump some iron, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flirt with the guy I like, and, like, not even come off as a creep. He's just being kind of flirtatious and friendly to Dave. And then he's like, thanks for bringing me on this trip. All right, see you later, buddy. Like, that's the whole time. So In a Roswell friend group being like, that confusingly sees violence as a solution to conflicts. <laughs> yes. And it's like, again, most of these people act like they don't really know each other very well. So it's like, why are you being such an unrelenting asshole to this person who is being just... just a near saint of chill when it comes to dealing with this. I would have gotten my ass out of there if Roswell was around like this, even if he wasn't directing this at me. If he was doing this to Tyson the whole time for no reason, I would be like, yeah, y'all, I'm out. Y'all, this is not a vacation. You are here to be a yeah. dick. <laughs> chill the fuck Imagine out, Imagine being on a... Yeah, you, you clear time for a vacation, and then you start realizing that it's just gonna be, like, this constant tiptoeing around these, like, 
just outgoing conflicts and just like managing threats between people and so on. At some point you'd just be like, you know what? I carved out this whole month of free time. I'm just gonna like, uh, I'm just gonna drive to Nevada. I'm leaving. I'm, gonna, I'm going somewhere else with this time. <laughs> yeah. Like I have this time free. I'm not gonna stay, spend it here at some point when it's just being Ugh. this awful. The, uh, Roswell is unrelentingly terrible. <laughs> yes. Mm. People can change Roswell. Yeah, like, I, I had a, I had people I hated in uh, elementary school that I was friends with in high school. Like that's just fairly normal. I'll believe it when I actually see evidence of that. Such as you the, mean what all I've been getting of the evidence every of this day. past week? Yes. Ugh. Non-stop evidence. I whined softly to myself, looking towards the door into the foyer to see where Tyson went, but he was already gone. Instead, I saw Sal and Orlando descending the stairs. 